This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Working on a 2001 Honda Accord, the V6 model, and we have a condition where uh, the fan doesn't kick on during operation, so the car, especially during idle, gets too hot. So we pulled off <coughs> this little protective case by turning these screws a quarter turn, comes off, and then what we're trying to get to is down in this area, so make sure your engine's cooled off. And right where my finger is, is the mechanical thermostat. And there's a coolant sensor right where my thumb is here, if you can see it. And there's an electrical connector I'm going to push in with my index finger to pinch it. And I'm going to wiggle it off. <clears throat> That's the electrical connector. I'm going to put a 24 millimeter socket over this. I'll turn left. I'll have my new one ready to go because when I remove it, coolant will come out and I want to be able to just screw on the new one pretty quickly. You can also drain some of your coolant prior to doing this and then put the coolant back in or add new coolant. Um, but for today we're just going to loosen it, we'll pull it off, and we'll spin a new one on. This is the cooling fan switch from O'Reilly's. Just got this electrical connector and this screws into uh, the thermostat assembly. It has this um, rubber o-ring already on. If you, if you don't see this on then just it might be somewhere in the box. Just put that on. And this is part number 37780 dash I believe it's a uh, P00-004 and we're going to have the switch all ready to go because we'll probably get a little le coolant leaking out. We're going to put a wrench on there. Slip that into position. There we go. So we've got the old one loose. Get the new one ready to go. Let's spin this out by hand. And you can get a little coolant coming out. Pop in the new one. Spin it in. Just make sure you got that O ring on there. There we go. That's on. So the old one here is probably the original. It's been there forever and just stopped sending the signal. So we kept getting an overheating condition, especially during idle, because the fan was never kicking on. We did change the fan relay already that lives over here, so we know it wasn't that. So it was left to us that most likely it's the sensor. So we're just going to tighten that up and put that electrode back on and then give it a test. We found that we didn't have the right socket. We found that a standard one inch socket was able to do the trick so if you're in a pinch you can use that one so you do want to get it pretty tight <coughs> so you don't want the coolant to leak out In our case, when we removed it, there was very little coolant that tried to escape. So I don't think you're going to have to uh, drain your coolant first. I don't think you need to do that extra step. All right, that's on tight. We're just going to take that little electrical connector and put it back on. And as you, if you finagle it around, it'll only fit on one way. So keep playing with it until it just slides on. Make sure it clicks. And we're going to put this little protective cover back on. Get in position. <coughs> These little guys will just spin. Just got to line it up. There's one. Okay, and we'll give it a test. 
covers back in position but you can see right here that's the new fan switch and you could get it into it even without removing that cover just to make it a little bit easier to see so we're just looking in there now to make sure there's no drips while it's uh, idling we're going to see if when it gets to um, a little bit above operating temperature if the fan will kick on one of these fans is going to kick on after you turn off the ignition and the other one's supposed to kick on while it's running so we'll take a look so the fan just kicked on and on our gauge it's about almost halfway up on the temperature fired up so that's what it was it was the sender before when we would idle it would get way up here way too high so pretty cheap part easy to do and it will cool your cool your car back down and it's kicked perfect. in now the sender is telling it to cool down it's cooling down that one will kick in if you use your air con and this one will kick in cool your engine uh, whenever it's hot even when you turn the car off this one will kick in sometimes to cool it down thanks so much for watching our video we really appreciate your support and when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.